Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So I'm taking a look at one from one of our local breweries here. This is from Ryan Geist. This is their Lynx, which is an IPA that is under limited release, as you can see there on the bottom of the bottle. This one comes in at an IBU of 70 and an ABV of 7.1%. On the back side there, if you want to pause it, you can see some details about the beer. Not really much else on the label here, but it does use three different hops, which are Citra, Mosaic, and Amarillo. And it talks about driving notes of pine, grapefruit, and tropical fruit. So let's go ahead and get this baby open and get it into a glass, see what it has to offer. I tell you what, just from the pour right here, I'm already picking up the notes of the aroma. A nice tropical fruitiness coming out of the glass. Not even trying to sniff the aroma. And it's just that nice feel already happening that it comes out very easily. You can see here with the beer, it's got a nice golden straw color to it. A little bit of a slight haze. I can see through to the other side, but it has a little bit of a cloudy effect. As far as the head, a decent size head, looking at at least a three to four finger. Nice white head on there, nice foaminess and rockiness on top of the, the foam itself. This one should break down nicely and really lace the glass. As far as the aroma, yeah, a nice little bit of dankness in there on the hops. You're definitely getting hit nicely in the nose. Nice tropical feel. I feel like you're getting a little bit of that orange in there. I'm getting a little bit kind of a citrusy type feel in there. Tropical nose, kind of reminiscent of something like a mango or papaya. It's got like a little bit of a spicy finish, it seems, on the back end as well. And it's almost got like a little bit of a uh, muskiness type feel as far as the taste. Still a nice sense of the, the tropical uh, notes from the hops that were used. You're getting a nice hit in the beginning on the initial bitterness on that side. You're also getting bitterness on the back end of the finish. Very hoppy of a beer. Like if you're gonna you're gonna want to be a hops lover, you'll probably really enjoy this one. But I do like that it's getting off the uh, tongue nicely. I'm getting a nice little mouth feel. I'm getting some nice coat in action taking place. I can really feel it starting to hit in the cheeks. Duration of the flavor is going around very nicely. I'm feeling everything kick pretty much uh, the way I would expect it to do. Do have a little bit of a pininess in there as well. Nice and crisp, nice and dry. Texture, very nice, not too thin at all. Good sturdiness in that regard. Do get a little bit of that burn going down the chest, but that's what you really expect to get with an IPA. So it really delivers everything um, to be expected in that regard. Does have a slight bit of kind of an astringency after the finish, but it almost has a little bit of a, dr the dryness is there. It almost has a little bit of a dryness, kind of like almost a cotton mouth effect afterwards as well. Super dry um, on this one here. So you want to be definitely a dry fan if you're going to um, enjoy this one and, and like that kind of aspect that a beer can offer. It's a little bit of a stronger type IPA. Again, you're getting some of that pine in the uh, flavor and a taste as well. Sits nicely on the palate, not really overly bitter for what I guess you would want to have for an IPA, but you do feel that bitterness. You do feel a little bit of that carbonation starting to rise up a little bit, so you do have some of that uh, lively carbonation as well. Not overly carbonated, and it's got a nice little numbing effect that also takes place as I drink this one down. So, all in all, pretty decent beer. You can now see some of the lacing also taking place on the glass. Overall, as far as breaking it down on the rating on this one, I think on appearance, Look at the head. The head is still lasting around. I haven't refilled the glass. Still got about a finger of head. Lacing is going very nicely as I projected going down the glass as what to expect. Nice color for an IPA or what you would expect to get in that regard. All in all, a pretty decent package as far as the appearance. So for me, the appearance on this one is easily going to be probably a 14 out of 15. The aroma, like I said, it climbed out of the glass very easily. Didn't have to just sniff really hard to get the aroma out. It delivered all the different things you expect to get in an IPA. You got that tropical, you got that citrus. Everything was nicely balanced against the malts. No problem at all really in the aroma. Aroma very decent on this one. Um, 
does have a little bit of that uh, muskiness that I mentioned from some of the hops that were used. Um, but yeah, it hits you in the face nicely, a nice representation of what you would get on the aroma. So for me, this is going to actually be a, uh, I'm going to say a 13 out of 15. As far as the flavor, everything that you want to come through on the taste is actually there. You do get some of that bitterness you expect up front and, and on the back end. And all in all, you have a nice break from the initial to the finish. Delivers very well along those lines. I think on the flavor for me and where this one is at, I would actually give this one a 13 out of 15. And then as far as the palate, you do have a little bit of a little bit, a little bit lively of a carbonation, but on the palate, it does sit the way it's supposed to. You do have a nice duration in there, as I mentioned, nice duration of the finish as well. You do get a little bit of a burn going down drinking this one, but that is not very uncommon with IPAs. So for me, as overall, as far as a palatable type experience, again, you're going to want to be a fan of IPAs to really drink this one. But I think it does deliver um, for the most part along those lines. So on my palate, I would actually give this one here a uh, 12 out of 15. And then overall, I think it makes a nice, decent representation of an IPA. I think it hits on a lot of the key areas. It's something definitely um, in, in uh, the right manner for what an IPA should be done. Um, nice freshness to it, a nice crispness to it. Um, you get everything from citrus and tropical, and you get that bitterness and everything like that in play. And it's a pretty decent beer that you can go through and really enjoy. So for me, as far as overall on this one, I'm going to give this one a, a 36 out of 40. And so to go ahead and add these all up, let's see what that total is going to be as far as my total overall rating on the... Uh, uh, the links from Rheingeist. So overall, the rating on this beer came out to be a total of an 88. So not a bad score at all. Very solid. A decent beer. I say definitely worth a try, especially if you're an IPA fan. Not sure how much longer this one will be out there, but if you happen to see it and you're here in the local Cincinnati area or somewhere around where you do receive Rheingeist, I would say definitely give it a shot, pick it up, and see what you think about it. But thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. I appreciate it as always. And thank you guys always for watching and hanging in there. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And always get your beer on. Cheers. Come on.